Hi, John here. In this video, we're going to be looking at flue gas desulfurization. I'll explain to you what flue gas desulfurization is, why it's such an important process for many industrial plants, and then I'll show you exactly how a flue gas desulfurizer works. Flue gas desulfurization, or FGD, is a process used to remove sulfur dioxide from a flue gas stream. If we're burning fossil fuels that contain some sulfur, then we're going to produce sulfur dioxide. Unfortunately, sulfur dioxide, when it mixes with water, makes the water quite acidic. So if we're burning fossil fuels in a power station, for example, or in an industrial plant, and we just allow this sulfur dioxide to be vented to atmosphere, then it may mix with the water in the clouds and form acid rain. Acid rain has a detrimental effect on the environment, and therefore, if possible, we don't want to allow this sulfur dioxide to get into the water or the moisture in the clouds and form acid rain. In order to prevent this occurring, we're going to have a process known as flue gas desulfurization. Flue gas is the gas that comes from a combustion space. In a power station, we'll have a large water tube boiler. We burn the fuel, the sulfur is converted to sulfur dioxide, and it is part of the flue gas or the exhaust gas that exits the boiler. So before we allow this flue gas just to be vented to atmosphere, we're going to treat it in a flue gas cleaning system. And that is this entire grey area that you can see to the left of the boiler on the screen now. We will have machines for removing particulates, such as an electrostatic precipitator or a baghouse. We may have a selective catalytic reducer, which reduces the nitrogen oxide. And we're going to have a flue gas desulfurization process, which removes the sulfur dioxide from the flue gas stream. And by removing the sulfur dioxide, we reduce the chance of producing acid rain. As with many processes involving power stations today and emissions, the use of flue gas desulfurization is closely linked to environmental protection and a growing awareness of the need to protect the environment. But how do we remove sulfur dioxide from the flue gas? The two common designs of flue gas desulfurizer are the wet and dry types. Sulfur dioxide is by nature acidic. So in order to remove it from the flue gas and dispose of it in a safe manner, we're going to need to neutralize the sulfur dioxide gas. To do this, we're going to use an alkaline based substance to bring the pH level of the sulfur dioxide gas closer to seven, which is neutral. At this point, the gas has been neutralized and can be disposed of. So we need to generate a chemical reaction in order to neutralize the gas and to do this, we will usually use either lime or limestone. There are other alkaline substances that are often used for flue gas desulfurization, but lime and limestone are some of the most popular. Lime has a pH of about 12, so it is very alkaline. Limestone has a pH level slightly above neutral, so it's going to be somewhere around the 7.5 pH range. By mixing the alkaline limestone or lime with the sulfur dioxide gas, we bring up the pH level of the sulfur dioxide gas and bring it closer to seven. Once we've done that, we've neutralized the gas and we can dispose of it by selling it or perhaps sending it to a landfill site. So let's now take a look at a flue gas desulfurizer. Now I mentioned before that a flue gas desulfurization process is usually either wet or dry. We're going to take a look at a wet desulfurizer, also known as a sulfur dioxide scrubber. The alternative to a wet scrubber is a dry scrubber, but we're going to cover dry scrubbers in another video. So here we have our wet flue gas desulfurizer. It may be quite large, it may be perhaps 10, 20, 30 meters in height. It's usually located next to the stack or chimney of the power station. Or if you have a large industrial plant that produces a lot of sulfur dioxide, then you will have a sulfur dioxide scrubber as well. 
If you ever read up on the literature concerning sulfur dioxide, you'll often see it abbreviated as SO2, which is its chemical notation. So you now know why the flue gas desulfurization process is so important for so many industrial plants. This is particularly true for coal-fired power stations, which may burn coal with relatively high sulfur content. If you want to learn more about flue gas desulfurization, or water tube boilers, fire tube boilers, valves, pumps, and pretty much anything else, then check out some of our engineering video courses. We've got over 30 hours of engineering video tutorials online, and we cover everything from thermodynamics to boiler efficiency, centrifugal pumps, hydroelectric power stations, heat exchangers, and many other diverse topics. If you want to check out these video courses, then I've put a link in the video description area. If you get a chance, please do like or share this video. We really do appreciate it. And don't forget, you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks very much for your time.